So Pelosi stated that the easiest thing for Donald Trump to do is to stand up like a man and accept the results of the election of the American people. For him to make these kinds of statements, she says, about how he won't leave and how it needs a recount shows his lack of patriotism, undermining the election process. And then he needs to get with his friends, Putin, who's trying to undermine our election and get himself set straight. He needs to stand up like a man. That's what she says. <laughs> But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. So what's up, y'all? Uh, this is the Stimulus Check Update. I hope your day is going excellent up until now. Earlier today, Stephen is chewing gum and Nancy is chewing gum too. Uh, you know, they reunited their talks about the language and uh, the language of the bill, you know, the stimulus proposition. Uh, the Democrats have been waiting on the White House approval of the language modifications given that earlier recently. We likewise heard from former Trump consultant that he thinks the stock market is down because of Nancy. On the 100 probability that a stimulus deal being passed prior to the election is not going to occur, he also says. And then we likewise have information straight from President Trump's mouth that an enormous stimulus will be coming very soon. I mean, isn't that, isn't that though, you know, advantageous to him to actually say that now, you know, because maybe he can sort of bluff his way in and then we'll see what happens. The American people, you're just going to have to see what happens. The only one that's winning are, are these politicians. You know, what's in it for the American people? They take your money out your check as you're working years and years and that money's supposed to be put aside for situations like this when the economy comes to a halt that money now can be used to bail you out as the american people but uh on another note those are just a few of the subjects that you know we actually gonna cover today but before we get started you know make sure you subscribe to this channel it absolutely helps out a lot uh when you hit that like button it allows the algorithm to show us some love hit the notification bell as well now do you believe that Congress should get out there to pass this bill before the election and send you your money, your stimulus checks? You know, should they pass it and then proceed? Um, you know, the stimulus talks have actually come to a halt once again, as the negotiations appear to have actually stalled in between the House Speaker and the White House administration. And chances of Congress striking a deal before the November election, you know, are greatly reduced this week. You know, after Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi were, you know, not able to agree on the, you know, the screen, the infection screening language in the stimulus proposition. You know, a previous Trump consultant, Gary Cohen, you know, believes that the stock exchange Wall Street has been decreasing for the past five days because of that one fact. Since he thinks there is a 100 percent likelihood that a stimulus deal, you know, passed prior to the election would actually turn the whole stock market around. Can you believe this, folks? He said, you know, I think now that with, you know, eight days to the election, seven days to the election, depending on when you listen to this, no one believes that we're going to have a fiscal stimulus up until after the election, you know, um, is actually just horrible. I mean, the Senate is now leaving Washington to return home to their home states and campaign like they're gonna get the job again. Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi, you know, spoke on Monday for about an hour. Like I said, 53 minutes. Check out my video, 53 minutes. You know, they couldn't even spend a whole hour on the, uh, <laughs> virtually an hour, but not a whole hour on the American people. It's just funny, you know, a way, you know, the two sides continue to blame each other on who's responsible for the latest stall. I mean, uh, you know, you know, today President Trump was talking to the White House press reporters and he targeted Pelosi for looking for bailouts for states and cities run. You know, I mean, Democrats, you know, by the Democrat, you know, Trump believes that Nancy Pelosi is only interested in bailing out terribly run, crime-ridden Democrat cities and states. And, uh, you know, she is not interested in assisting the American people. And because of that, he does not believe Pelosi will, in fact, be around a lot longer. You know, so these two, they just taking shots at each other, Pelosi and Donald Trump. He believes that they will actually reclaim the House very soon. And President Trump went on to state that after the election, we will get the best stimulus package out that you've ever seen once again. So, you know, y'all keep in mind how Trump has specified various, you know, times how he wants 
a much larger stimulus package than the Democrats want. And he has restated numerous times to the Republicans that, and you know, they need to go huge or go home statements like that that he does on uh, Twitter, you know, and it got support recently from Lindsey Graham down in, down in uh, Georgia and near South Carolina. And, and you know, that he actually is aligned. Um, Lindsey Graham stated that he's aligned. Likewise, you know, this week when they had a Georgia press conference, a debate on the local stations down there. Now we, we sure hope that he stands by his word as well down in Georgia. You know, if uh, the Republicans do reclaim the, the Senate, you know, what does that mean? What do you guys think? I mean, the House that would eventually, you know, provide him complimentary reign to do so, whatever he desires in regards to a uh, second stimulus package. So at this point, it appears that the settlement talks will be on shortly after the election. But will we know who actually won the election after uh, after it's done, you know? The few states that are allowing, you know, for mail-in ballots to be accepted, of course, those have to be counted. And, uh, you know, all of these promises about after the election will the stimulus, you know, but the American people are waiting. And leave down in the comments what you think. All right. And this is your stimulus check update for today. And we'll see you in the next video. What's going on, everybody? Pure Excellence here back with another video. I believe this is one of the best explanations of one of the most important things that they, you know, are re-hung up on. Uh, we keep hearing testing, testing in the language and, you know, so I think this will offer you a much better concept of precisely what they're talking about. You know, we're going to discuss this on the other end after I show you, you know, what they're talking about, um, where we're constantly speaking about like they're making progress, they're making progress or not making progress. My understanding is that the problem isn't the top line number, which could be, re, you know, could be negotiated. The size of the package, you know, my own problem is that there are substantial differences substantively between what they're talking about. What you want to see out of the package in terms of what it devotes the White House to be doing on testing and suppressing the virus and what they are willing to do. You know is that question and it appears to me that if your position the democrats position is we should suppress and contain the virus first and you know the white house position is no don't contain the, the virus and we need to not and you know that is not you know negotiable you know there's no working out to be done if you're brand new to this channel make sure to strike that subscribe button with a body slam strike down below and like and comment please because a like and a comment are always valued likewise if you would not mind sharing this with your friends and family due to the fact that i'm sure they would likewise like the most up-to-date information on the stimulus check number two and unemployment benefits readily available anywhere here on youtube which is what i provide here on this channel the lighthouse stimulus check update alert club right here